The seaside resort of Bundoran is located at the most southerly point of the county and for nearly two centuries people have flocked here during the busy summer periods. Now with over four hotels, numerous guest houses, self-catering accommodation and apartment complexes, this County Donegal town is well equipped to cater for all tastes and numbers. As well as being Ireland's premier indoor aqua adventure playground, the Waterworld Complex has completed a 1.6 million euro refurbishment. People come from all over Ireland, uh, north and south, to come to play in Waterworld. You know, and if it's a, an ideal location, if it's a sunny day, even if it's a rainy day, you know, there's something here for all the family to do, and uh, it's part of the scenery now in, here in Bundoran. For many, Bundoran is synonymous with music and dancing. With booming dance halls in the 50s and 60s, the music tradition continues in Bundoran today, with the town now regarded as one of the best country music venues in Ireland. It just has a great atmosphere about here. I suppose the fact that you have people maybe from all corners of the country coming over, it, it means that you know they mingle and they get to meet people, people that haven't met each other before. And when you get that many people in an area and a load of them like it, uh, I mean, the crack can be very, very good. Bundoran is buzzing and it's alive, as they say, so it's great to be here. Donegal has been always great to me. From, from as long as I can remember, Donegal has been a, a county that has always had great support and so many people always come out and support us in Donegal. Country Music Andrew has exploded over the past couple of years in Bundoran and you no know, anywhere in we any weekend, anywhere in Bundoran, there's always some country music festival on, there's always some country singer playing. There could be Nathan Carter, there could be Derek Ryan, there could be Robert Mazel, you name it, they're probably here any time across the year uh, in Bundoran. One of our biggest country ambassadors for Donegal and for Ireland of course is Daniel O'Donnell. He's gonna be playing in the Great Northern Hotel, which is just behind us here, and he's gonna be playing there on the sixth and seventh of August this year. But it's not all about country. For the past number of years, the Sea Sessions Surf Music Festival has also attracted some of the world's biggest Irish and international acts to play right down on the beachfront in Bundoran. Well, we've always been pretty keen to have the identity of the festival sort of um, harmonious with the lifestyle that we have here in Bundoran. You know, I'm really lucky that you know, we come down the beach, can go surfing with my son, play a game of rugby, go home, have barbecue afterwards. And we wanted to make sure that the festival reflected that lifestyle that we have here and that we love. And, and that's really what it is about celebrating. So we have, you know, beach rugby with the, the Barefoot Beach Olympics. We've got the soccer, frisbee, volleyball. Then we've got the Barefoot Expression Session, which is the surf event. And we have people flying in from Reunion Island, from France, from all over the world to surf in that. It's the biggest cash prize in the history of Irish surfing. And and for the gathering this year, uh, we've really upped the ante with that and we've got a huge uh, entry level coming in for that. So I think the, the event has always tried to reflect what's good and what's great about living here in the Northwest. Surfing is regarded as one of the key tourist attractions in Bundoran and has become a huge industry in the town in recent years, with no less than four surf schools operating in Bundoran 12 months a year. We're very lucky here in South Donegal to have so many great surfing destinations. Tullin, as you said, in particular, is very, very good. It's wide open to North Atlantic Swell, which we get pounded with year round. Favourable winds, nice stretch of three kilometres of beach with some perfect waves on it, as you can see behind us. This exact venue has played host to so many Irish and European competitions as well, Richie, down through the years. What is it that makes it such a, a popular competition location as well? We're lucky because we have the natural amenity in Tullin Strand behind us here. We've got the Peak, which is one of uh, Europe's best reef breaks around the corner, but also in Bundoran and indeed this area we have uh, bed nights, we have the restaurants, we have the entertainment which allows us to hold big events because it is important, of course, to have the natural amenities, which we do have, but it's important of all the backup as well. So we're lucky here we have both. There's direct uh, surf businesses like surf schools, surf shops, surf cafes, but there's also a lot of indirect um, business being um, created in the local area from surfing. You've got accommodation, you've got the restaurants, the bars. So, you know, surfers come from every demographic, every kind of background and they spend money right through the board. I, I can't think of any business that doesn't benefit from uh, surfing tourism in the local area. Plus it creates a lot of employment, which is great as well. But Bundoran also has numerous other tourist attractions, from angling to wall climbing. There's a host of different activities to do. 
right across town there's loads of different companies that do stuff we're here at Donegal Adventure Centre at the moment who do surfing they do the high ropes they do kayaking they do outdoor instructor training as well if you want to become one of these people that teaches the outdoor instructor training and uh, also uh, stuff like uh, team building activities as well where uh, companies can come down for a weekend and just bond with their fellow workmates Lots of other different activities as well. You can go 10 pin bowling, you can go to the cinema and watch a great movie. You, the kids can go and play at Dizzy's Den Indoor Play Centre. You can go horse riding, you can go go-karting, you can go to Bundorn Adventure Park and play on the rides, the carousels. You can also go blow-karting, which is relatively new to the area as well. And uh, you can do stuff just as simple as walking around. And uh, the beautiful walks that we have, two fantastic walks around Rogie and the West End. And uh, you can also do some fishing too. And after a hectic day, either on or off the water, this South Donegal seaside resort turns into a hive of activity at night with top-class restaurants, numerous bars and a booming nightlife. There's no doubt you'll find a social outlet to suit your taste. Uh, if you want to go for a late drink, a bit of a dance, a bit of a bop, then there's three nightclubs as well. We've got Aqua, Paris and Jumpin' Jacks. Chimba Dorn also has a wide range of different styles of restaurants as well for food lovers too. Yeah, again, around uh, 30 uh, restaurants and places to eat, you know, be they fast food, be they sit down restaurants. Again, many of them, uh, most of them family friendly as well. Uh, so you can, again, bring the whole family there. There's uh, Indians, there's Chinese, there's European dishes and your takeaway for pizza as well. It's very much a family atmosphere here in Bundoran as well, Shane. It's something that the town really prides itself on. That's one of the big selling points for Bundoran, family friendly. And we've been part of uh, Falter Ireland's family friendly programme for the past couple of years. And Bundoran is one of the key towns in Donegal that has been part of the family friendly thing. Bundoran is certainly a family friendly destination.